straight out of the mold, and they, they use a special oil to keep the figure from sticking to the mold. And this is true for the Marvel Legends, the Universe, uh, Transformers, My Little Ponies, anything. Anything that is plastic is going to be made in a mold. And it has this oil on it that keeps it from sticking to the mold. Um, and that's what causes the new toy smell when you open up the package. And uh, it, what you do is just basically just wash it in a mild detergent, like a you know, just Dawn or something. Uh, really let it dry <coughs> thoroughly. Uh, and this is another, another thing you can use the, the uh, toothbrush for, is to get between those little places and get the water out. Um, let that dry thoroughly. You're done with that. Um, because the, the reason we do that and wash it is because that oil, the way it builds up on the surface, paint won't stick to it. It just does that. I don't know if you've ever done that. You've tried to paint on something and it just sucks. It just turns into a pool and it doesn't stick. Um, so that's what we do that for. The next thing you would want to do before you start painting is swap out your parts, like your heads and your arms, anything like that. There are two different methods that people use to swap out parts. One is called the uh, heat method. And basically what you do is use a, uh, a hair dryer to heat up the figure, to heat up the plastic, so that you can pull the arms and the heads off without them breaking. Uh, the second method is one I use most often, is the boil method. And you just put, you get a big pot of water, put it on the stove, let it boil, drop the figure in there, and then it's like Stretch Armstrong. I mean, it really just, you can pull it apart. And you can also use that to reform like if you've got an open hand that you want to be a fist, you can put it into the boiling water, take it out, kind of you know, use your hands to put it back together into a fist, stick it under some cold water, and it'll stick that far. Um, so that it just reforms the plastic. Um, sand anything on the figure that you need, like say if you've got spikes that you want gone, sand those off. And also if you've got anything on the figure that's really, really shiny, you might want to rough it up with a 120 uh, grit sandpaper uh, just so the paint will stick better for your base coat. Uh, then after that, you want to do any, any of your sculpting that you want done before you, before you get to painting. This would be the time to do that. Anything you want to do with the, the sculpting or with uh, the epoxy sculpt, that would be the time to do it. So we move on to our base coat, uh, whatever the entire figure it's going to be, you just do that first, um, and then you would move into your detailing. Um, several thin layers is the way to go when it comes to a base coat. Um, a lot of people, uh, some people just want it, I just want the figure done, so I'm just going to put a big thick coat on it, but it doesn't always work out very well. Um, base coats are the way to go, and you can usually get it done in about the, the same amount of time. Um, that it takes to do one thick coat and then go back and redo it. <laughs> so if you do it just a thin base coat, you can go back several minutes later. The good thing about acrylics is they dry fast. Uh, within 10 to 15 minutes, you can recoat it uh, and move on to your detailing. Uh, for detailing, I recommend um, really they make um, really thin brushes, little camel hair brushes. Uh, I've got a few of them over here in the in the set. 